Matthew Bible, Summary to Deuteronomy 29 The people are exhorted to observe the commandments for the consideration of benefits received, which, if they break, they are threatened to be plagued. The 29th chapter These are the words of the appointment which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the appointment which he made with them in Oreb. And Moses called unto all Israel, and said unto them, Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt, unto Pharaoh, and unto all his servants, and unto all his land, and the great temptations which thine eyes have seen, and those great miracles and wonders. And yet the Lord hath not given you an heart to perceive, nor eyes to see, nor ears to hear unto this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness, and your clothes are not waxed old un upon you, nor are they nor are thy shoes waxed old upon thy feet ye have eaten no bread nor drank wine or strong drink that ye might know how that he is the lord your god and at the last ye came unto this place and saon the king of espon and og king of basan came out against you unto battle, and we smote them, and took their land, and gave it inheritance unto the Reubenites and Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh. Keep therefore the words of this appointment, and do them, that ye may understand all that ye ought to do. Ye stand here this day, every one of you before the Lord your God, both the heads of your tribes, your elders, your officers, and all the men of Israel, your children, your wives, and the stranger that are in thine host, from the hewer of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water that thou shouldest come under the appointment of the Lord thy God, and under his oath which the Lord thy God maketh with thee this day, for to make thee a people unto himself, and that he may be unto thee a God, as he hath said unto thee, and as he hath sworn unto thy fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Also, I make not this bond and this oath with you only, but both with him that standeth here with us this day before the Lord our God, and also with him that is not here with us this day. For ye know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the midst of the nations which we passed by and ye have seen their abominations and their idols, wood, stone, silver, and gold, which they had. Lest there be among you man or woman, kindred or tribe, that turneth away in his heart this day from the Lord our God, to go and serve the gods of these nations, and lest there be among you some root that beareth gall and wormwood, so that when he heareth the words of this curse, he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace. I will therefore work after the lust of mine own heart, that the drunken may perish with the thirsty. And so the Lord will not be merciful unto him, but then the wrath of the Lord and his jealousy smoke against that man, and all the curses that are written in this book light upon him, and the Lord do out his name from under heaven, 
and separate him unto evil out of all the tribes of Israel, according unto all the curses of the appointment that is written in the book of this law, so that the generation to come of your children that shall rise up after you, and the stranger that shall come from a far land, say when they see the plagues of that land, and the diseases wherewith the Lord hath smitten it, how all the land is burnt up with brimstone and salt, and that it is neither sown nor beareth, nor any grass groweth therein. After the overthrowing of Sodom, Gomor, Adama, and Zeboim, which the Lord overthrew in his wrath and anger. And then shall all nations also say, Wherefore hath the Lord done of this fashion unto this land? O oh, how fierce is this great wrath! And men shall say, because they left the testament of the Lord God of their fathers, which he made with them, when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. And they went and served strange gods, and worshipped them, gods which they knew not, and which had given them not. And therefore the wrath of the Lord waxed hot upon that land, to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. And the Lord cast them out of their land in anger, wrath, and great furiousness, and cast them into a strange land, as it is come to pass this day. The secrets of the Lord our God are opened unto us and our children for ever that we do all the words of this law.